It's a new weekly challenge and it's all about war and revenge. And we've got T-Dog as our star hero. So, yeah. Kind of uh, makes melee characters a bit better with his leadership trait. I'm going to bring Tyrese and Mercer just because those are daily challenges. Um, looks like we've got some humans and at least one tank to deal with. What's in store? Yeah, I, I sort of felt it was it was probably based in the bar. Well, that human's not going to be a problem, is he? Now, what's the best strategy here? To just peg it out of here as quickly as possible. That walker's there. Obviously, as we get into harder difficulties, the placement, the types of walkers might change. I'm guessing that they're always just going to stay distracted at the start. So I can see a benefit maybe to just getting to that gate, getting that open. Three turns, that's not exactly forever. Yeah, and I remember this. Can we spawn block them? Can we stop those walkers coming out of that top door? Nope. It's kind of weird. Huh, I didn't know that. Did you see that? T-Dog uh, gave, him, gave, him uh, gave him some good news while he's opening the door. So even if he's distracted, if something ends its turn next to him, he will turn around and beat the crap out of it. For missions like this, I always think that uh, characters like Connie, Yumiko, pretty useful. You could have a ranged character opening the door. And if you, you know, if, if they are in range and sight of Yumiko's target, they'll turn around and shoot it as well. Connie, she can be opening the door and everyone can still cuddle up to her and get the benefits of her better together trait. This is definitely a mission where, I mean, it really feels like you could throw the walker mask support or a flare, something like that. Distract the walkers because it's not about killing everything. It's about getting out of there. <clears throat> if you have something like the riot shield that I had there with T-Dog, I don't think I used the charge attack, but that herds the walkers. All you got to do is is just survive while you're opening that door. Again, it's not about massacring everything. Having some weapons that will slow targets down, though. That seems like a good idea. Outbreak, kill all of the walkers. Okay, so this should be easy peasy. Let's see what the deal is here. Okay, one of those killer walkers where we're going to have, you know, have them sort of coming in turn after turn. I mean, you kind of want to get ahead of them. At least this is a nice, broad map. That's the first thing I think to notice. Sometimes the walkers will come in because... You killed other walkers. So it's handy to know that that happens. You might want to pace yourself when it comes to wiping out these walkers. You want to make sure that everybody is charged. Uh, uh, sorry, everybody at least has their action points available. I mean, usually going into a corner is is pretty good. It cuts off the enemy's avenues of attacks. It means that you can focus your fire more easily as well. Looks like the time to do that would be after a couple of turns. I don't know how many turns that was, four or five, when new walkers were coming in. Last thing that you want to do is get yourself in a corner and then some new walkers spawn in and they trap you there. I think ranged characters, always good for killer walkers. Incendiary, wide arc weapons that can cripple or ensnare. That's always going to be handy.
I would have thought we'd have more missions with humans in if we're getting revenge. Can't really get revenge against the walker. They're just doing what they do. Search the room and then get out. Okay. Well, let's have Mr. Searchy Search. Yeah, let's chuck Glenn in. I think there can be walkers behind the, uh, the doors. There might be one there, actually. Let's... Yes. Okay, so as soon as you start opening those doors... Walkers start flooding out. I wonder if we can spawn block it. It's always worth checking. Nope. Okay. Well, that's frustrating. But it's nice to know that we can't rely on that. At least we know. Got that tank there. We've got... Walker's just flooding out every single turn. This is going to get tricky on harder difficulties. Is there a point at which they stop pouring out? Let's give it a go. Let's stay here for a little bit. See if they stop appearing. Give it three more turns. Let's just see if they keep on coming. No. Is that a flute? Okay, okay. That's... That's definitely a handy thing to know. What about this one? Okay. Will they eventually stop pouring out of here as well? This is something that I hadn't considered. It does happen on these types of missions where walkers come in turn after turn. Was that two turns? Three. Four. Let's see. Let's just let's just see because this could be this could be a handy little thing to know. Five. Okay, that might be a way to do this. Very slow and steady. But that is good to know. I, I, that's the first time I've tried that. Yes, those walkers are going to keep on coming out, but they, they, there's a finite number. They can't just keep on spawning out of those rooms. <clears throat> that is still a tough mission though I know it is most of the walkers except for that one tank are normal walkers so they can be stunned herded you know all of that definitely something that can take care of those ones in the corridor that are coming in from the left side of the screen slowing them down hitting them hard Cross the yard and get into sanctuary. What was it that I needed? Warriors. I think it must be a while since this particular set of missions has come up. They they're sort of vaguely familiar. Yeah, this one's this one can be tricky as well. Yeah, another one where we've got walkers coming at us. I'm intrigued to see, again, if there is a point at which they stop appearing, or if there's just an infinite number. We'll give it five turns. Good to know if we can spawn block them as well. I doubt we can, but...
Nope. No spawn blocking here. Okay, okay. It's three turns, I think. Five. Let's see if they come out on the next turn as well. Okay, I think that's just an infinite... It's an infinite spawn point. They're never going to stop coming from there. So, let's move on. Now, I think that as soon as we start opening that door, more walkers will appear. So, make sure that you're all gathered up together, ready to go. The good thing is, those walkers coming from the left... If you've got a wide arc weapon, something that can cripple, um, you, you can hold them at bay. It's only three turns to open that door. Walkers will come out from here. I wonder if we can... Let's try spawn blocking here. Well, what do you know? That works. So when somebody is opening the door here, block these two spaces... And you can stop being threatened by new walkers appearing right in front of you. That's good to know. That could really uh, make a difference in that mission, sort of especially later on, when you just can't can't necessarily kill those walkers that appear right next to you quick enough. <clears throat> Okay, loads and loads of rewards. Kill the free men. Okay, this one's, I think this one gets tricky now. There is a lovely incendiary sniper rifle, like the burnout rifle here, in the Guild War shop. That's a great bet for these types of missions. The uh, AI, when it's controlling humans, it gets a little bit weird if you engage at too long a range. It just, it, it doesn't really know what to do. Oscar, I hope you are out of range. Good. Yeah, there you go. See, he was retreating. It's, you know, what are you doing, mate? As soon as you kill him... Two more walkers will come in. So you want everybody active when you kill that first batch of survivors. Now hopefully, you're going to have something like this. You're going to have melee character. And there's not an awful lot that he can do. Melee characters, if you can just cripple them and snare them, stunt, make it so that they can't get to you then... then they're literally useless. If they're ranged characters, that's a little bit tougher. They can still always be stunned. You know, uh, crippling them, it can be good. If you've got really long range weapons, you can just keep them at uh, mega arm's length. But all you got to do, I mean, you just got to kill those humans. And then you're out of there scot-free. Don't have to mow down all of the walkers, just the humans. And I think that characters like Guardian Carol, Hilltop Maggie, Yumiko, Mercer, they're just absolutely fantastic against those kinds of characters. Even T-Dog, I mean, he's a bruiser. He hits the target so many times, that they're probably going to wind up stunned. And humans can be stunned. Cross the swamp. Come on, Connie. Get amongst it. Let's give you the Ruby Reaper. Everybody set. Yes. 
Let's do it. So it looks like we got some goos. Yeah, now these patches here, if we go over those, it will wake up walkers. You've got to be a little bit careful, not just where you're moving the characters, but also you, you, you've got to keep an eye on how the game is doing that for you. The, uh, the actual flipping pathfinding. Sometimes you have to step right on th those, those pits where the walkers can spawn from. Sometimes you just have to uh, go near them. So you might think, oh, brilliant, I've just, you know, went near to that pit, but not right the way over it, so I should be safe. Sometimes they seem to just spawn anyway. That's weird that Tyrese's debuff circle is uh, green. Oops. Yeah, so there we go. We woke up a walker. Yeah, you've got to you've got to get out of there. Obviously what we could do if you've got the CRM axe that makes your bruisers a lot lot quicker, but we do actually have to do some killing. Threat counter, so being quiet is probably a good idea. But that's what you've got. Um, the key thing is don't make it more tricky for yourself by stepping on those, on those pits. So this is a... I mean, this set, there's some pretty involved missions here. I think some of them, I mean, they get tough. They do get tough later on. So you better be prepared for that. T-Dog's T -dogs an okay leader, I guess, for these. Certainly not the worst choice. Certainly not the Jerry choice. But well, good luck to you and your guild. If you do have any dramas with anything in spe you know, specific, just, uh, just say so. I'm sure that I or somebody in the comments can help. But good luck, and I'll see you on the next video.